Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! What am I doing now? Well, I guess I'm gonna check out these things, whatever the heck they are. I... Hmm. I can actually choose my character this time. You know what, I'll be Ouija. Let's go Ouija! <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, so it's like time attack? So there's a, a bunch of stuff that I can do. Oh wow! What is... Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh, is this... Is this gonna be... This might extend the walkthrough quite a bit if this is actually stuff that you actually have to do. Basically, but I'll see what the heck... Um, what the heck this is. So, you want me to reach the goal in 35 seconds or less? It's Apparently possible to do it in under 21 based on the timer of the clock there. So I'm just going to run through this stage like no one has ever run before and hopefully keep up my pace throughout the... Oh, <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> I don't... Like, since these are time attack stages, I don't know if it'll actually be worth showing this, to be honest, because... You know, you've seen these stages before, so it's not like anything special, it's just that I'm speedrunning them now. Mm, there we go. And it's really easy to get through, well, not really easy, but I mean it's really quick to get through stages when you're not searching for every itty bitty secret along the way. <laughs> and that stage felt shorter than it was before, maybe it was... Hmm, maybe it was actually a, um... A stage in of itself? Ooh, save replay movie. Like, what what stage was this? No, it says original course, so that was... An original stage? Oh yeah, I guess so. So, maybe I should show these thingies. So I guess I'll be doing that time attacks in this one. Reach the goal in 70 seconds or less in Acorn Plains 1. Yeah, I just didn't remember that other stage, and that's because, well... It, it was totally original, <laughs> so that, ex that explains that, and I'd really be more comfortable with a, um, an, a power-up doing these speedruns for obvious reasons. But I guess that would be a little bit too easy now, wouldn't it? Oh shoot, that isn't a shortcut, dang it! Duh, must make it, must do it, must at least get to the goal before time runs out, woo! <laughs> oh, piranhas! Why are you always in my way? Why are you... What a way to die, huh? <laughs> 70 seconds or less! Come on! Let's do it! This time with a power-up. Actually, did they give you a power-up anywhere? Because those blocks, I'm pretty sure, gave you power-ups before. Maybe that's, maybe that's the idea. You're supposed to get through these without power-ups whatsoever, which is definitely not outside of my... Uh, League, but you know, since you're speedrunning the sucker, it's gonna be a little bit trickier because you gotta react to things as you go, unless you have the level memorized. And since, as you know, I've only played this level one time before, yeah, <laughs> that's it's kind of a conundrum of sorts. <laughs> but although it's it's still you know just the early game stuff, so it shouldn't cause me too much ire, I'm guessing. And this place apparently has earthquake issues. Or was that right, right at the end? <laughs> this place apparently has earthquake issues because, uh, yeah, the land is moving beneath your feet, and yeah, I would be very careful around acorn plains. You might want to stay outside, away from trees and bridges and stuff like that, you know? Just make sure that nothing is above your head, otherwise you might have some concussion issues later. Just giving you a helpful tidbit there, just based on what I'm seeing here in the landscape. And I'm gonna be a little bit more careful, even if I don't get the gold medal here. Just because... Uh, you know, I would like to actually pass the stage, at least. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was... For some reason, I wanted to check the block out of force of habit. <laughs> and I also noticed that those coins also moved with the platforms. Ten seconds remain, but I easily made it, really. Even though, even though I was lollygagging a little bit more carefully that time around. Yay for me, Ouija! Isn't that something that he said in the, uh, 
new the first new Super Mario Brothers game. And I also noticed that you could replay your run, which is kind of, is probably like you know watching your ghost run or or something like that. New challenge available! Oh no! Full speed ahead. Wait, what's? Why are there stars? Is that like difficulty stars next to the? Hmm. Well, original of course. So yeah, I guess these challenges are worth showing because they have original stuff in them. And I'm just gonna trust that the blocks don't have power-ups in them. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! <laughs> If I would have, if they kept going as you know to the edge of the screen and beyond, I would have been doomed there. I'm just taking the high road t route here because down is death, and I made it. That was a lot easier. <laughs> Surprisingly, despite uh, having a two-star rank, maybe it's because the short the stage was shorter, and I'm pacing myself a little bit better, maybe. Man, you gotta be flying to get the gold. <laughs> I wonder what it would take to get the gold anyway. Probably a lot of practice. New challenge available! So I guess I'm gonna keep unlocking them as I beat them. Hopefully, I won't have to get gold medals in order to unlock everything. That would probably suck. Because <laughs> I'd have to replay these stages like... Well, I guess I would have to play them on camera then because I would have to show you how to get the gold medal on each stage. Star coin! Even though they're unimportant now! Wait, actually, did that give me extra seconds or something? I don't know. Because I noticed the clock flashed and I got that star coin. Maybe the star coins are the key to getting low times. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna risk it. Oh, oh, oh! No, that, that star coin didn't give me increased time. Well, why was it flashing then? <laughs> I don't know, but I gotta get to the goal in 80 seconds or less. Ah, do you get past that without falling in the quicksand? I don't know, maybe it's possible. You know, whenever you touch that one, it falls right in with the sand. I mean, right in the quicksand. Dang, unsteady ground. You know, quicksand is, like, mostly water, and doesn't it seem awkward for quicksand to be in a desert then? <laughs> I mean, granted, there, you know, it could be underwater springs and stuff like that, but if you really think about the structure of quicksand, you gotta think, hmm, it seems kind of out of place for it to be so prevalent around here. Although, if you look, you know, there's there's trees growing in here, so it's a pretty lush desert after all. So maybe there's more life in this place than it appears with first glance. Oh, God, please stop. No, no. <laughs> Oh, whatever. I Did I make it? I'm not sure if I made it. I, no, wait, it said 80 seconds or less. Whew, made it indeed, Ouija. <laughs> yeah! I got a little panicky there because I thought it was 70 seconds that I had to get there by. Boo Ballet! Wait, 15 seconds or less in this original course for the gold? How in the world? You're supposed to, like, do stuff like that? <laughs> I do that stuff in Super Mario World, but it looks a li like it's a little bit tighter here because of the way that your jump it is, uh... Uh, well, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just being a little too risky here. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe, I yeah, I really should wait. But it's, it's fun to jump in between the boo rings if you are really in control of the character. <laughs> and to try one more time with the boo ring jumping. There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the way they expect you to get the gold is probably th through jumping through those. And doing it flawlessly. Oh, I, I forgot I have that floaty jump. Oh, that boo ring is really tight. <laughs> But as I said, I probably should just stop, relax, and do these boo rings normally. But I'm, I just feel the need to run through them because, you know, it's a speedrun course and all. So I'm kind of getting the most out of it for fun. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was my worst one yet. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely want to jump through this ballet here if you want to get a good time out of it. 
But otherwise you want to aim for the open holes here where it's widest. But wow, this this last, or not last string, this string right here, it would be a lot, oh this one would be really tight. <laughs> oh, but I, I, yeah, I could definitely see you only being able to get the gold if you precisely jump in between the booze. That's pretty diabolical, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah. Next stage! And I just keep unlocking them. But I really, really hope that I won't have to get the gold. <laughs> hmm. Wait, what? Bo oh, Boo Ballet Encore? <laughs> I was gonna say, that seemed really similar. Well, all oh, while in mini form. Well, you know, I, this might actually make it a little bit easier. Or not. <laughs> but I thought because your jump is a little bit floatier, so that you'd be able to squeeze through the booze just a little bit better like that. Something like that. Or even do stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> It's just so tempting to go between those boos because it's fun to thread the needle, so to speak. Alright, let's do it for real. Let's just do it nice and slow, you know, the way that I'll guarantee to be make, making it to the end of the goal in under 40 seconds. Although, I shouldn't say that because time ticks by rather quick. As do the boos move, although I think this is the last one. Yeah, it's the last one. It's pretty easy to get here. If you just wait for the holes for the bronze. Woo! <laughs> I'm not one for uh, like speedruns and time trials and games and stuff like that. I used to be, but not not anymore. I'm more for like just playing a stage and getting on to something new, basically. Challenges keep appearing. But yeah, I don't, I'm not really one to perfect stuff nowadays, so to speak. Well, unless it's like a um, rhythm game or something like that. Like Dance Dance Revolution or something. <laughs> that, that game, you know, because you want to really, really beat the game, if anything, if possible. Because the game beats the heck out of you. <laughs> you get the idea. Yeah, it's, it's, it gives you a lot of encouragement to do so because the game is so intense. I'm gonna jump underneath these because I know I can. Because I know they're slow enough for me to do so. Oh, the stage shouldn't be too problematic. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that could have been a catastrophe. But it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. And I don't see any of the spikes. I mean, uh... Uh, icicles on a ceiling, you know, the kinds that are gonna fall. The ones that are gonna fall are darker kind, and they seem to be. I know I can run through here, I remember that, from my initial playthrough. Oh yeah, speed running like a pro. And, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no time to wait for that. What if I get the star coin? Yeah, you don't really get anything special for getting the star coins, just as I thought. It's just that I noticed that the timer up there was flashing before, and I thought maybe I did something to lower the time. Like, you remember, if you ever played Yoshi's Island DS, you know, the, the Yoshi's Island 2, it was initially called Beta, whatever. <laughs> it was, I mean, there is a time trial mode in that. And red coins, flowers, etc., etc., they reduce your total time that you have on the um, the clock. So it's actually possible to get a negative time on some stages as a result of that. It's pretty interesting actually, but as I said, I'm still not, I still don't care all that much for... What? What was that? Oh! I didn't read the, the text. You're supposed to defeat all the Hucket Crabs. These things. <laughs> Oh, and the reason why I thought those crabs were different in this game than they were in the other one was because they actually are ever so slightly different. If you look, they're throwing rocks in this game, but in the other one they threw like dirt balls. Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to die, and you are going to like it. <laughs> oh. Gone. There we go. Definitely be more ideal if I do things as I'm going, obviously, and not... 
have to wait for any of the water spouts because the water spouts seem to be timed for me to run through everything in the most ideal circumstances. Oh boy, I just lost the gold! And I just lost the silver already, wow. <laughs> I noticed the, the timer changes when I lose the rank that I'm aiming for. I mean that when I lose the yeah rank that I'm aiming for. What am I trying to say there? I don't know! <laughs> and oh wow, I'm already at 15 minutes this part. Hmm. I could definitely see the the gold medals taking a lot of practice to get. And you have to do a lot of precise jumping. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do is end off the part here and continue these challenges in the next part. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then.